In this video, I'll walk you through step-by-step -step process of upgrading from your Windows 10 operating system to Windows 11, completely free, without needing a USB drive and with no data loss. As you may already know, Microsoft officially ended support for Windows 10 after October 14th, which means users will no longer receive security updates or bug fixes. This leaves many Windows 10 users vulnerable and in need of an upgrade. But don't worry, in this tutorial, I'll show you an easy and effective way to install Windows 11 even on old or unsupported PCs and laptops. We'll be using Microsoft's own official tools, ensuring that the process is safe, secure and straightforward. Best of all, this method keeps all your files, applications and personal settings exactly as they are so you can upgrade without losing a thing. Before we download the Windows 11 files, there's one important step to check first your system language. It might sound small, but if it doesn't match, the upgrade won't keep your apps and files. So, let's take a quick look at that before we begin. I will show you two different methods to check your operating system language. First method, open Windows setting, then go to time and language, then in left hand window, go to language. And here under Windows, display language. You'll see the language. In my case, it is English United States, so make a quick note of it. We'll need this later to make sure everything matches perfectly during the upgrade process. Second method to check your system language using command prompt, open command prompt and run as administrator. Type this simple command dism forward slash online forward slash get dash ntl and then press enter. Once it's done, look through the output for the line that says default system UI language. You'll see something like ENUS for English, United States, or whatever language and region your system is currently set to. Now that you've got that information noted down, go ahead and open up your web browser. Next, in search bar, type Windows 11 ISO download in your browser. You will see several results. Click the first Microsoft website link. The first result should take you straight to Microsoft's official download page. Once you're there, scroll down until you see the download Windows 11 disk image ISO section. Click the drop down menu and select Windows 11 multi edition ISO and click on confirm button. Then choose the same language you checked earlier, for example, English, United States, or whatever matches your system and again click on confirm button. After that, click the 64-bit download button. The ISO file is pretty large, around 7.2 gigabytes, so it might take a little while to finish downloading. So please be patient. Once the download is complete, go to your downloads folder and find the ISO file. Right click on it and select mount. Windows will treat it as a virtual DVD and you'll see it appear in file explorer under this PC as a new drive. Now select all the files, then copy them. Next, go to your local disk C drive in File Explorer, right click on an empty area and create a new folder, name it Window 11. Open that folder and paste the files inside. Now, you've got everything you need right on your hard drive, no USB required. Here comes the fun part, launching the setup while bypassing Microsoft's hardware checks. This step is essential if your PC doesn't meet Windows 11's system requirements. Now copy the folder path in File Explorer. Next open command prompt with administrator privileges. When the command prompt window opens, type CD space and then paste the folder path here, then press enter. Then type setup.exe space forward slash product space server. And after typing this command, and then press enter to run the installer. The Windows 11 installation wizard will now pop up, though it might appear under an install Windows server label at first. Don't worry, that's just part of the bypass process working in the background. It will still install the correct Windows 11 edition that matches your current Windows 10 license. In the setup window, click next to continue. After a few moments, you'll then see the license agreement. Give it a quick read if you'd like, then check the box to accept and move forward. Here comes the most important part. When asked what to keep, make sure personal files and apps is selected. 
This ensures that all your data, settings and installed applications stay exactly as they are. No data loss whatsoever. Once everything looks good, then click next. Let Windows finish checking for updates. This may take a few minutes. Once it's done, you'll see the ready to install screen. Here, you can review your selections. It should show that Windows 11 Pro will be installed while keeping your files, settings and apps. After confirming everything looks good, click install to begin the upgrade. Windows will start preparing your system, downloading any small updates if needed and getting everything ready for the upgrade. This process might take a few minutes, so just sit back and let it finish. Your PC will restart several times during the process, so keep your hands off the power button and let it do its thing. After upgradation, you'll boot right into Windows 11 desktop. Everything will be just as you left it. Files in their folders, apps in the start menu, and settings untouched. To confirm the upgrade was successful, click the start button, type WinVer, and open WinVer. A window will pop up showing that you're now running the latest build of Windows 11. Once that's confirmed, head back to your C drive, delete the window 11 folder to free up space. The next thing you should do is update Windows. This will install the latest drivers and fix any existing bugs. It's a crucial step to ensure your system runs smoothly and stays fully optimized after installation. And that's it, your smooth free upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 is complete. No data loss, no stress, just a fresh OS with everything intact. If this tutorial helped you out or made your upgrade easier, don't forget to like, subscribe and stay tuned for more simple and easy to follow guides. Thanks for watching and I will see you in next video.